Uh, we're talking about the worst roommate stories, our weekend homework topic. And uh, you guys have been sharing a lot with us on the After Hours voicemail and our Facebook. <laughs> the Facebook was uh, was going wild, apparently, according to Morgan. He said oh, yeah? the stories were coming in. I knew that would be good. Yeah, I forget I... how this uh, how this even first came up, but um, yeah, and then we decided to do it as a topic because it's one of those that the, the topic starts before almost we even have a chance to officially make it the topic. Right. I think it was a redneck news, maybe. Maybe. I, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, but like just the amount of bad roommates out there. Oh, our Facebook had photos. Oh, yeah. Receipts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, was, it was bad. Yeah. So if you want to share your roommate from hell story, you can give us a call. 877-44-WOODY. That's 877-44-WOODY. Text it over to 22987. Uh, every time my roommate uses our house butter. House, House butter. butter. I guess that's the community butter. Sure. Uh, he takes a <laughs> bite out of the stick and then puts it right back into the fridge with the bite mark on it. That's what? not Who a does thing. That? Uh, no way. Roommates with a four-year-old. Mm. An animal. A bite out of butter. <laughs> I have looked at a stick of butter and I thought, oh, that'd be good right now. I know. Are you I don't want to take a bite. Like, especially did... after a few drinks, you're like, ooh. <laughs> really? Mm. But I I've did... never done no. it. I did it uh. as a kid. I would sneak butter. You would? Oh, yeah. I loved it. Straight off the stick. Oh, uh, yeah. My old roommate threw out my food that was in the fridge to make room for his food. Okay. Mm. Just, I mean, just throw it away. Old? Yeah. I mean, how much? I mean, is it a mini fridge? Like a <laughs> right? dorm how fridge? How tiny is that fridge? <laughs> how many roommates do you have? An Xbox uh-huh. fridge? Uh, dude, girls, <laughs> girls' fridges, for whatever reasons, are always overflowing. Oh, you oh. should see my fridge. Yeah. It is overflowing I, I, and a it's, mess. It's, and it is every woman I've ever, like every single chick household I've ever been to. And their yeah. cell phone screens are cracked in it, some way. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. they'll come to my Always. place and be like, there's nothing in here. It's like, well, I eat what I get, you know, whatever. Yeah, right. right. You, you know, that's that thing. how you should do it. I think in Buy general. Buy your food, eat it, and be done with it. Right. Don't like Don't throw stack it, away. it up in the fridge. In general, I think women are way sloppier. Yeah. So the how pigs. is your fridge then? <laughs> So that's why I don't know. I because I'm doing it wrong. Because you're a woman. Like I know today I have to like throw some things away because house cleaners are coming today. So, oh, you know, wow. yeah. gotta, you my know, cleaners. Do, the trash you guys, and do a little straightening yeah. up. You guys know what that's like, right? Oh uh, yeah. You know. totally. No, I I can't relate actually. And I can think of like <laughs> five things that have to come out of the fridge and get tossed. But you're a big. Uh, you're a big leftovers person. Like she's a to go, need true, something, need to, true. you know. So it doesn't doesn't even matter. She'll mm-hmm. take home like two bites of something. And yeah. She's packing it up. Even stuff here that uh, people bring by. Oh yeah, I'll take that. You know, and like take uh, that to go. Yeah, we we you know she's looking for like yeah. some kind of to go to go container. container. Yes, right. of course. Uh, take home like. Duh, you know, no, I don't want to waste it. Couple slices of uh, pizza or whatever. Pizza, know, what's wrong with that? People, know, I'm saying this is probably how your fridge <laughs> ends up. People say they don't want to waste it, and then they bring it home and then never eat it. And throw it, it stays out. in the fridge for two weeks. It's a couple of tubs of cream away. cheese have to go. Some chili Apple. has to go. Uh, yeah. This one says my roommate uh, always makes rice, but refuses to clean the rice cooker. Oh, no. That's not good. Uh, my roommate took my car to drive across the country without asking my permission. Jeez. All right. That's not good. I mean, there's another one with the car. Uh, my roommate crashed my car and refused to pay for it. Uh, oh, that what? Sounds like a civil case. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. That's a wrecked the car. That's Judge right. Judy. I know. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, uh, I wrecked my friend's car. You did? did. Yeah, I remember Mike the show killer. Sure. Yeah, of course. What? Okay, so. <laughs> How come I didn't know this story? Oh, I'm sure you know this story. No way. I yeah, because it happened when we started working here. Mm. Yeah, like I, I was, uh, I was. He, he insisted, and I wasn't comfortable with it. Right. He insisted that I I borrow his car because mm-hmm. I just had a couple of things to go run around, like looking for houses and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. This is before I actually moved here. And he insisted on it. I'm like, oh. it's just a couple of days. I'm like, all right, fine. So don't you need the car? No, nah, you can just blah, blah, blah. I'm at work all day. I'm like, oh, all right. So I, uh, I brought it back to the radio station in the garage has some of these, like, once you're used to it, it's fine. In fact, I park in one of these spots now, like one of these, like, spots that are, like, at an angle. Hate that spot. Yeah. I See, I like it now. I've learned how to navigate it. Mm. And, and it gives, I'm saying, but it, but it gives you a <laughs> lot of room on the one mm-hmm. side, like, where you, you, on the driver's side where you're getting out. Anyway, so, but when you're backing out, it created an interesting uh, thing. And um, I, uh, even with the backup thing, like, for whatever reason, it didn't do the do 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 it, right. it, it was like, dit, dit, then crunch. Oh, no. I'm like, son of a bitch. Old Lady Woody. 
<laughs> and I, I backed into this uh, into this woman's Highlander. Oh, oh no! Enough. And it, it was it was like minimal damage, but enough where she would have to go get it like you know repaired, like at a body shop kind of thing. Because it, it was the, it was the corner of the show killer's forerunner. So you left his name on the note. It was right. it was a Toyota on Toyota crime. It was enough. Oh no! Oh, no. But I, I left my name and you know number. Yeah. And, you know I paid for the whole thing. Obviously, I felt awful. I don't Off. think I, knew this I, I came I came back upstairs to uh to brand, the office. Brand new story. And uh I was just like white as a goat, whiter than I am now. And I have the complexion of a urinal. Get it. But I was like, oh my God. And he's like, what's the matter? I'm like, I wrecked your car. He's like, what? That's <laughs> <laughs> not a wreck. But I I uh I but it's a point where he had to go get it fixed and dinged your car. I totaled it. your car. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Destroyed it. It'd been better if I totaled it. Uh, well, another <laughs> yeah. reason to back into spots. I know. Yeah, true. Oh, yeah. Reason number five thousand. Yeah. Because <laughs> you couldn't like uh, back into something else on the way into backing into the spot. Easier. Because there, yeah, there's no, there's nothing to back into. Well, when you're yeah, backing the backup into cameras. The spot.